Alright, I'm a little pissed off right now. You got these two little prissy guys right here, you know, besmirching my girl. I'm gonna be pissed off. And, and, and you, you, you think that you can do something, but you really didn't do anything at all. You didn't do anything at all except get her pissed off because... Oh, well, look, they just defeated me. They made me look bad. Oh, I'm supposed to be the next champion. You make me sick. Now I gotta deal with this. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Well, you heard the rant. You heard the rant. Uh, girlfriend's pissed off. We got a few things stolen. Gattaca. Let's move on. Yeah, I'm not too happy right now because uh, this 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 whole thing right here, yeah, it it happened in a matter of seconds. We had betrayals, we had battles, we had people thinking that they won, but really they didn't. Freaking hop. And well, our girlfriend here, she's like, "Wait. Don't just leave without saying anything." But you were upset. We didn't want to say anything because it makes it worse. Hop, you make it worse. Your presence makes it worse. Jesus criminy. We were trying to be considerate, but of course I'd be down on myself. It was my fault. I got tricked by Nick in the Wooloo's clothing. But that's it. No more feeling sorry for myself. That's my girl. That's lot. That lot made me made off with like bandits with all the wishing stars. It'd be awful if they were used for something evil for some evil purpose. So there's no time to be feeling down. Oh, <laughs> you've got some guts. That's right. That's why I chose her to be my girlfriend, because she's got guts. And lots of it. Probably more than I have. I don't know. You've certainly grown strong in the face of adversity, dearie. Grand. Dynamaxing draws out the true strength from the trust between Pokemon and their trainer. But the group is likely pouring the Galar particles emitting by the Wishing Stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. That is awesome. Indeed, what an awful thing to, uh, to do to Pokemon. The theft of the Wishing Stars was just a start. Things could get a lot worse from here on. But why? What's the reason they could have uh, they, they could have, they have for forcing Pokemon into Dynamax? Those weirdos said that they wanted to reveal the true natures of Zacian and Zamazenta. I'm curious about my former assistant said, what my former uh, assistant said about royal lineage. Did she really, did she mean it literally? Ah, Draven, look at your town map. I'm detecting huge sections of four stadiums now. They certainly get around, don't they? If there's trouble at the stadiums, then Marnie uh, could be in a real bad way. Uh, Spikeman seems to be okay. There's no power spot stadium there. <clears throat> Righto. Draven, there's no time. Uh, t there's no time to be lying about. If Pokemon are in trouble, we're uh, why are we still here? Let's get let's get right out there and lend a hand. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry to leave it all to you, but you'll have to do you'll have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll re I'll search for those Sword and Shield weirdos in the meantime. Whatever you say, baby. Whatever you say. Okay. Well. Whew, well, at least she's not mad. I'm at least I'm not in the doghouse. That's 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 a positive right there, guys. That is a huge huge positive. Not in the doghouse. So, anywho, in the last episode, we actually went through two more stadiums. Uh, actually defeated the Sword and Shield weirdos, like she said. And, well, there was a betrayal of, a, of her former assistant and all that stuff. And now we got to take care of some more. Now, in this episode right here, I'm going to be featuring three battles. Because the two stadiums we're going to be going to, one of those stadiums actually... You know, is 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 a is a uh, version exclusive. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So the first one we're going to be going to is in Hammerlock. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, town maps right here. So let's see. There, she said that there are four spots. As you can, as you can see, Hammerlock is one of them. Stone Side's the next one, and then we got ourselves another issue, which is Sir Chester, and finally over in Balloon Leah. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to just feature three battles uh, in two in two different stadiums right here. One in, uh, what was it called? Uh, hold on just a sec. One in Hammerlock and then the other one in Stowinside. In Stowinside, if you guys don't remember, it is both a ground type gym, or no, actually a fighting type gym and a ghost type gym. 
if you're playing Pokemon Shield. So let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and go to Hammerlock first. Now, if you guys remember, Hammerlock is the Dragon type gym. So in this particular battle, we're, it's going to be a single battle for us. So we got to prepare for this one. So let's see, Dragon type Pokemon. You know them, you love them. Who do we use? Well, we need an ice type Pokemon or a fairy type. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to switch it up. Let's go ahead and use somebody new. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, we could use Mr. Mime, Galarian Mr. Mime, but I kind of want to evolve this guy. Uh, Nessie is a good choice. Or Grimmsnarl, obviously, his name is, uh, what was it What was it called? Uh, Beelzemon and all that crud. So, uh, let's see. The choice is going to be, obviously... We're going to be using uh, Nessie for this adventure right here. So we're going to be switching out Blitzkrieg for the time being. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out. And let's take care of business right here. Let's get it over and done with. So, Hammerlock, you know it, you love it. It's a big old castle. Lots of Pokemon. And is that our girlfriend? Hold on just a sec. Oh, Draven! Somehow, someone saw those Sword and Shield weirdos. They said that they got through the door. Huh. But the door is closed with an electric lock. Opening it, opening it might take some time. Okay, so we're going to have to wait on that. So, as you can see, here's uh, Ryan, or Raihan, or Rayhan, or I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Nice timing, you lot. <laughs> the stadium's just about to reach its limit. There's simply too many Dynamax Pokemon running wild in there. Seems Wishing Star Power is being used for some evil purpose. So that's what's caused all this. That's the problem, all right. But before we get to get that sorted, we've got to do something about these Dynamax Pokemon. Glad we've got you all here now, though we already done the bulk of the work. We're here to help too, right, Draven? Well, not you. I mean, we already know what we already. Again, guys, I will never, ever, ever, ever stop shit-talking uh, Hop because he is a... Uh, yeah, he, he, he's just annoying from the day go and all that stuff. Well, I'm just going to be like, leave it up to us. Okay, fantastic. And it looks like we've got ourselves together an unbeatable team. Especially you, Pierce. The way you battled me in the Champion Cup, you really had my Dynamax Pokemon against the wall. <laughs> Things might actually go better this time if we split up our little band. Right, everyone, split up so we can re each take down one Dynamax Pokemon. Let's do it! So in this one right here, we're actually going to be taking on... Uh, where is this going to be a single battle? So, as you can see... Oh, yeah. We're going into this battle. And uh, look at that. A big old Haxorus. Ready to take us on, so here we go with our very own Nessie, ready to kick some butt. So, let's power up this communicator right here and see where this goes. Let's go ahead and Dynamax this Pokemon. Now, we could use Sheer Cold, but that's a 30% chance, so might as well go for the uh, for sure thing, and that is just hurt it. Straight up hurt it with an Ice type attack. So, here we go. Let's make our Pokemon grow. Grow, grow! Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's right. Nessie the Lapras is ready to kick some butt. And, well, who's faster? Of course, Axtris has to be the faster one. So here he, are, here he is hitting us with a very powerful uh, Max Wind, Windmund or something attack. I don't even know what it is. And, yes, our attack has fallen. But here comes a Max Hailstorm, hopefully for the win. Look at this. Max Hailstorm takes him out with one hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's a Hailstorm going in. And with that Hailstorm, bam, hits it, beats it, and there we go, guys. That's right. That's how you take care of a Haxorus because, you know, we had a bone saw and all that crud. So that was easy, I guess. You guys are the greatest. You really got me out of, out of the top spot right here. I think I'd better snap a quick one be, uh, to remember the victory by. Uh, where, oh, wait. Oh, okay. So did you take a picture or? Oh, I don't even know. I'll take care of the Pokemon that went wild. No need for you to worry all about that. Draven, give me a give me a ring if things should go uh, go to pot again. Wow. 
The British. I don't get them. But here we have Ryan's uh, league card right here. I'm always happy to lend a hand if I can. The great Ryan is here for you anytime. And Pierce, you and I, you and I have to go to uh, battle again. This time, no Dynamaxing for either uh, either of us. Okay, alrighty. Wishing Star is being used for evil. I assume you are already looking into who's uh, behind it, right? Carry on, then. I'll take care of the things here at Hammerlock Stadium. Okay, alrighty. So that's one down, and well, the next one we actually have to go to uh, what was it? Stone side for the next the next issue right here. So the reason those red and blue buffoons could make so many Pokemon Dynamax was because they hoarded up so many wishing stars. Things will probably even get even, uh, get even tougher from here. We still got three more stadiums. Where's there's uh, where there's some uh, Dynamax Pokemon running around? Let's up the tempo. Okay, alrighty, so we're upping the tempo right here. The next one on our list is Stow Inside, and like I said, guys, Stow Inside does have two different kinds of Pokemon. Uh, in Pokemon Shield, you will be fighting a Fighting-type Pokemon, and in Shield, of course, you're going to be taking on a Ghost-type. So we're going to be showcasing that right here. So let's go ahead and fly straight to Stow Inside. And, well... Look at this. We are in Stow Inside. It's all mystic. This is where, you know, the whole legendary thing started with the whole statues and stuff. Now, before we do anything, there's one thing that you can do right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, he will notice that you are the champion. So, he's going to be like, it's hardly worthy of such an achievement, but here, take this. He will give us a beast ball, which many of you guys already know is a specialized ball for the uh, for the beast pokemon or the beast uh yeah the beast pokemon in pokemon sun and moon which we will get to eventually hopefully pretty soon here and uh well let's see what does it say somewhat different pokeball that has low success uh rate catching a pokemon but it does have a high success rate on taking on the beast so let's see now if you talk to him again he will actually give you a cracked pop which is an item that you can use for a, I think, uh, that T Pokemon. I can't remember what it was called. And, well, what's the next bargain? He says he's going to get a next, a cracked T. So, that's already, we've already got what we need right here. He, he actually changes up his bargains every single day. Now, if you talk to this guy, he is buying a rare bone for $11,000. So, let's go ahead and just give it to him. And, bam, we are giving him so much, or we're getting so much money out of that stuff. So, Let's go right ahead and take on the next uh, challenge right here. As you can see, it is a fighting type gym right here in Pokemon Shield. Or Sword, I should say. So, look at this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God damn, she looks beautiful. Anywho, you all, did you come to lend us a hand? Uh, something like that. How are things looking? We just, fin uh, we just finished getting everybody to safety, so I was about to challenge a Dynamax Pokemon. Nice one! Then uh, then let's all work together. I'll give you the most heartfelt thanks. We've got several opponents, so we may as well take one each. I'll be counting on all of you. But here we go. Okay, so here we're going. Going into the next place right here. And I completely forgot to change my Pokemon right here. Good gravy. Oh well. But here's our next challenge, a Conklador. Now, I did choose the wrong Pokemon. It, Nessie is a uh, is a uh, Ice type Pokemon too. So let's go right ahead and switch him out. Let's go straight to Quackor the Fowl right here because it does have a Bray Bird attack. Either or, it can still beat it. It's a Fighting type Pokemon right there. So here we go, Quackor the Fowl, ready to go, and here comes a Max Knuckle. Thinking it's going to beat me right here, and it takes a nice chunk out of my HP right here. So, that right there will increase its attack. And, well, let's go ahead and Dynamax and use a Max Airstream onto this Conklador right here. So, let's go Dynamax this Pokemon. Let's get it. Oh, yes. Here we go. Let's grow, grow, and grow! Okay. Who's ready to catch these little flappers? AKA these hands. So here we go. Max Airstream for the win. Hopefully for the win. And that nearly takes out Conklador. 
and well he survives by a little bit but here we have an increase in our speed so we could we could survive and wow that nearly takes us down hammer arm gets it so let's go ahead and finish this guy off with another max airstream right here so here we go max airstream for the win how's it feel to fail oh yeah look at that no more Conkleter. And it's feeling nice now, and well... I can't thank you all enough! With your help, the Dynamax Pokémon have all returned to normal. I'll keep them safe here in the stadium, so no need to worry! Draven, next time, I'll be the one who saves you in your hour of need. Give me a call if you ever need in a... Or give me a call if you're ever in a, in a rough spot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going to be in a lot of rough spots, guys. Trust me on this one right here. So we get another league card, and B is going to be like, if there are other, there are other places that cha that need a champion's help, please go after them. I'll protect the peace and stow inside stadium with all my might. Okay, all right, it's all your might. Okay, so Hop is going to be like Draven. We've got to go help all the other places where these Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there's two Pokemon Stadiums left to check. Okay, so... This was a Pokemon Shield or Pokemon Sword versions uh, uh, of the, of the Snow Inside Gym. So now what's going to happen is we're going to fa fast forward to Pokemon Shield. And I'm going to show you Alistair's version of the Dynamax Pokemon that's attacking his gym. So I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, you... you came to help me. Eh, something like that. How are things looking? The people all got out. But I'm the gym leader. I'll battle the Dynamax Pokemon. Nice one, then let's all work together. That... that'd be brilliant, thanks. There are loads of them. I hope everyone can take one each, please. Let's go. Alrighty, so I guess this is the ghost type gym and Alistair creepy as always and the Pokemon we're gonna be facing is none other than Dustnor and Look at that Holy crud that is scary Okay, what's worse than a regular Dustnor a bigger Dustnor so we're gonna start off with Beozamon right here and well well, let's not waste any time. Let's go with the Max Darkness after it grows into its Dynamax form right here. So here it is. Time to kick some ass. Here we go. And look at this. It's growing, growing, and growing. What now? Here's Beozamon and ready. Uh, ready to go with its Corona Destroyer right here. So let's get this. Corona Destroyer, Max Darkness. Look at this, and bam! Nearly defeats Dustnor. And, well, this this guy's taking a... Well, he, he's not taking this lightly. So, he's got Max Hailstorm. See what this does to my Pokemon. Holy crud, I'm not... Oh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one right here. So, there it is, a big pounding right there. This actually gives us a Hailstorm. And, well... Let's go right ahead and uh, finish this guy off. Let's go with another Max Darkness for the win. All righty, Beelzeman. Bam, finishes off du Dustnor. And bam, just like that, it explodes. And it returns into its regular size right here. Now, that is a loud scream right there. That, that's, what, that's what scared me right there. So, anywho, this is actually what happens when you defeat Dustnor in Alistair's gym. And, well, Alistair's very thankful. He's like, thanks. Thanks a lot. The Pokemon have all calmed down. They can rest here. They should be fine in time. Draven, here's my Lee card. Obviously, he's not offering to help me out or anything like that. If ever I'm in need. You can leave things here for me. I, I'd rather you go help those you who who need you. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. Like I said early on, we still have two more gyms that we uh, have to go take a look at. So 
that right there completes this episode right here, guys. Uh, this was both Hammerlock and Stone Inside's two gyms. So in the next episode, we are going to be finishing it off with Bell and Leah and Sir Chester, which, of course, does have two other gyms, too. And then from there, we're going to be going into the legendary, uh, the legendary endings and beginnings and, you know, just have a lot of fun with that. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.